the truly creative changes and the big shifts in human understanding occur at the edge of chaos. There is a void in modern life. A void that civilization cannot fill. Luther Standing Bear wrote that man's heart away from nature becomes hard. The thing is, we live in a world where we can't hear what nature is saying anymore. But if people sat outside around a campfire and looked at the stars each night, I think the world would be a different place. Nature is the great unsolved mystery, the unknown. We're here. <laughs> Step one done. Land. Land is good. Land is good. Yes. <laughs> That plane ride was, it was pretty, it wasn't that mountainous, so I was pretty, pretty cool with it. <coughs> when I flown in the bush before, we were like weaving between mountains and it was just kind of creepy. But we did come on that one mountain out of the fog. And then when, when we really hit the fog coming in, I was thinking we're gonna be blind, totally blind. And when he that when the pilot stopped and said, "Yep, we're not going any further," turned around and landed. I was pretty relieved. Adam got scared though. I was smiling all the time because I knew you were more scared than me. I've never hunted moose or caribou in British Columbia. Have you shot a moose? Yes. Yes. Have seven years ago. Have you shot a caribou? Yes, seven years ago. And I've thought about them every day for the last seven years. You do the math. So, this is my guide, Doran Carter. And this is my other guide, Tannis Barkman. And folks, they are lovers. I think people might be listening going, what is the relationship here? <laughs> Brother and sister? No, we're lovers. Yeah. Yeah. Not? yeah. yeah. Oh, we're trying little butt grabs here and there. Ah, oh, I can't do this. You always ride bareback? <laughs> oh, yeah. Dirty girls ride bareback. <laughs> So over here we have Adam Greentree who safely made it to camp in the uh, harrowing backcountry ride that almost cost him his life. Um, Adam, uh, how do you feel? Happy to be alive? Yes. <laughs> how else the answer that? Nah, I wish I died. <laughs> You can't use that now. <laughs> Not everybody could pull that hat off. Yeah. <laughs> because it's full. It's I mean, full. Because it's full. It's full. What? Do you know what that means? 
just just say it's real. Yeah, that's what I thought it was when I bought it, right? <laughs> For like a good a good year, so I went out with my buddy. Can I touch it? Trapping oh. with my buddy, I'm like, check out my hat. He's like, that's fake. I'm like, what? He looks. He's like, looks at it. I was like, I'm like, faux. Is that French for fox? He's like, no. It means French for fake. It's, fr- it's fake French. Kid, you have more than Tannis. Oh yeah, dude. I combed it this morning with my fingers. Oh, it's, and in it's the luxurious. Back here, Tannis like it, didn't make it. No, it's got ear flaps. Oh yeah. I'm like wicked. It right? looks like something from. I mean, it's I'm just, just saying. It's just a good toque, man. Camera's always in my face. Are you ready for this? I'm so friggin' ready, it's not funny. Like, not even funny. I think you got up at 2 a.m. Something like that. I was twitching all night long. All night long. So, Adam is gonna take off with Dan. <laughs> yep. For a couple of days, backpacks only, no horses. No horses, just backpacks only, and then we don't have to worry about looking yeah, after the horses. We can stay out all day. All two nights, I think. Yep. Three nights if we need it. And uh, first order of business, moose? Mm, whatever steps up. <laughs> <laughs> moose, caribou, wolf. What's going on? So it's the Australian crew. Yeah. You're not going to bring a gun at all? No. Mm. I, we'll them my Australians are a little crazy. Sicker is uh, is my gun. Okay, he's a good pup. Yeah, yeah, he takes care of the bears. He'll and... keep the bear away. Yeah. What's his name? Sika. Sika. Sitka. Sitka. Like the brand. Ah, oh, Sitka. Sitka. Today, today his name is Under Armour. <laughs> you, you are. <laughs> hey. Hey. Rodeo. Got him. All right, guys. That's, wh- that's why we're not taking uh, horses. horses yeah. Good luck. <laughs> good luck, guys. Under Armour. Under Armour. Come on. Come on. <laughs> Dog's name Sitka. Yeah. Adam's trying to rename him Under Armour. <laughs> it's not gonna work. It doesn't work. And that doesn't have the same Under Armour. Come here. No, it doesn't. No, have Sitka's the same. like that. Uh. We're riding through the bush here. Adam Greentree left this morning. Dan and uh, immediately right out of camp like 100 yards, 150 yards came on some giant grizzly bear tracks. And those tracks they were heading out this direction where we're at (laughs) and uh, pretty much they were on the grizz tracks the whole way. So we're not sure. They went out without a gun. Just some bear spray and a bow and the dog so it's going to be interesting they ditched some gear on the way we saw it on the ground they might have decided they're not going to spend the night out there but um, but uh, that grizz track is gigantic so that bear's been hanging out around the camp and snagged somebody's moose cape the other day so um yeah serious business
so what happened was... I saw was, you get into stealth mode. What happened was... Sneak it across. Dude, like, oh, I, was, I was like, well, we could sit here the whole time. And just yeah, wait for him to stand you're up. You're in a good spot. And I knew I was close. A good action. It was yeah. a good good hunt. Brian did a good job. Good stalk, you guys. I thought I was pretty impressed where you came out. We I'm like, like they are right on it. To be honest with you, the way he reacted to any of our calls, I don't think he's interested in anything. I think he has his group. I think yeah. he's got his yeah. cows. He's I think got his, four cows. He's well, pretty he's high. That close. About, when you think that sucks about moose is that they eat and live in the alders. You know what I mean? You, yeah. It's not like a ungulate like other. And that right. patch of elk, alders, you think they're going to promote this the grass and open this three weeks ago, and that is a thick patch of alders. Yeah. When Dad that and them thick. tried playing this exact bull and they gave up on him because they said they couldn't, they said he didn't respond to any calls. Same thing. Well, you know, I mean, He's Adam's old. moose just came charging in. Look at that. Well, he goes done, Daniel, son. Yeah, that's kind of, yeah. you know, you, you need one that's totally in that doesn't kind of have mood. four cows. Yeah. We did not get an early start chasing the moose today. When you're out here in the bush, it, it's so weather dependent. You just have to deal with the weather when it comes. And it is full on winter right now. <clears throat> and these horses on their horseshoes, they're metal, and they get super cold. And then those shoes build up ice. There's a, one of them was walking around with a chunk of ice like this tall on his back hooves where that had just built up. And then they walk around like on stiletto heels and ice skates. It's a dangerous combination, so we got Doran over here pulling all the shoes off the horses so they can walk through the snow without building up all that ice. It looks like it's not going to melt or let up anytime soon. <clears throat> if it's not going to let up, this weather is just going to keep coming in. They need the shoes off. It's so cold and beautiful. Such a contrast from yesterday oh, when you shot your moose. <laughs> we are, uh, been riding all day trying to get to Adam's moose. It's been a real challenge. The weather's killing us. It's cold. Horses are having trouble. There's like mud bogs underneath the snow. River crossings. It's been a real rodeo today, but everybody's doing all right. We're cold and wet, but it's pretty cool though, too, at the same time to be in this kind of country where there's no people and Grizzly bears walking around, moose everywhere. It's a true northern adventure. So, anyway, we can trade it. You see a bear? The first thing? Chrissy's baby. What'd you say? Uh, there's been a grizzly on my kill. Of course yeah. there is. Yeah. He might want his own kill, so <laughs> we just be a little bit cautious. Hey there! Hey there! Hey there! I do not like this. Is that your moose under there? He buried it. Yeah. Oh, mate. Okay. I don't like this. Hey, hey, hey. Don't move. Just be quiet. 
buried it. Grizzly bear buried it. I don't like this. Yeah, big grizzly lying on the kill. <sighs> You're just saying it really sucks because he's buried and tarnished and wrecked all the meat and regulations. We believe we're waiting for an in reach message back. But regulations say if the grizzly claims the kill, we've got to leave it with him. But we stole the backstraps from the <laughs> bugger. But, um, what sucks is we went extra extra effort yesterday and we actually cut all the ribs out and we'll bring the ribs back full rib racks yeah and we're gonna season them up and cook them slowly over the fire but it's just nice not to have your throat bitten out by a big brown monster so whatever There, there's just a mountain of grizzlies out here. Bear came into this camp that we're in a couple days before we got here and stole the, the moose cape that was right over here being salted on the salt station area. Don't know where it went. Hunter lost it. We gotta trail out. We gotta get out soon just because just the horses are, they're not getting enough food anymore. Winter is on, it's harsh conditions. We need to get out of here, so. I think it's a five day ride or more. That moose rut seems to have come and gone. Yeah, it seems over. The rut, moose rut just seems over. It's you know, we saw those two bulls both big. One one was a slightly lesser bull. They were just feeding by each other. They looked like a cow that was in heat, was right there, and they just weren't rutting hard. So hopefully there's we get to another spot where where the bulls are a little more horny. Adam Adam's bull was was rutting hard, and then a couple of them came into his tent, where they called from, and so that was just a few days ago. So I, I know there there's there's some bull somewhere still in it. it. Just takes the right combo, the right you know whatever. It is our last day to to hunt, so we're getting out on the horses here in a couple minutes, and then we're gonna head out and see if we can find a big bull and put him on the ground. Yeah, we got a few more days of riding out, like three days of riding, but we, we pretty much need to kill a moose today. <laughs> Thanks, Doran. <laughs> so awesome, Thanks, brother. Oh.
Oh, I'm glad it was towed. Oh, that what? bullet really rocked him. He did, he went down. He went down hard. You you really got him good there. Kidding. Your eyes were on today. Your to eyes were on today. When he hit the ground, I was like, just a, just such a moment of relief after all the work and the. See my lucky hat. Come on. Yeah. You know, he's screaming. the same bull of yesterday. No. Yes. <laughs> yeah. I'm sure it is. I'm pretty I mean, sure. obviously, you'll you know. Take on the front. <laughs> How do I hug this guy? <laughs> <laughs> right up there. We got it. Boob shot. Yeah. Boob shot. <laughs> Beautiful. We're so yeah. happy for you. The whole camp is jumping up and down. The whole camp's like, yay! Because. I remember when I left and you were making the video and you were doing the interview like, hey, so it's your last day. And I'm like, oh no, <laughs> don't say that. I don't want it to be his last day. John Muir said, the clearest way into the universe is through a forest wilderness. I think for John Muir, the wilderness was his place of redemption, his place of renewal. I've often thought about what Muir said. Simply put, if you want a glimpse into the universe, spend some time in the woods. The secret to a meaningful life is meaningful relationships. The secret is to make other people's lives more meaningful. My life is full of meaningful relationships. Turkey. I don't think Dookie yeah. suits it. Yeah, I, I bet, you know, in Duke, America, Dookie has another term. Does it? Dookie. Duke. Duke. Okay. I gotta take a Dookie. Oh, no. <laughs> we got a sad death here. Turns out a little guy got stepped on by the horse. Nice. He went down smiling though. I don't know if you can see that. He is smiling. It's hard to say. Let me get closer. Yeah. Mm, you think that's a smile? And then, then when I want to listen, right? Yep. I'm seeing this. I go like this. Yep, and you look like something. From Lewis, and and Lewis and Clark. Well, yeah, now I'm hunting. Yeah. Now I'm hunting. So I asked everybody their name. And immediately forgot it. Just call them all old mate. <laughs> hey mate. <laughs> so do you kind of live in those? I do, all the time.